December 2nd, 1954. Treasures are not gentlemen, my good friends. They don't understand being treated like that. In Washington, the U.S. Senate takes the rare step of condemning one of its own, Joseph McCarthy, Republican of Wisconsin. McCarthy is censured for bringing the Senate into disrepute after his anti-communist crusade and its tactics come under fire. 1942. At the University of Chicago, scientists demonstrate the world's first artificially created self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. Their work is part of the Manhattan Project, the top secret American-led effort to develop nuclear weapons during World War II. 2001. One-time energy giant Enron files for Chapter 11 protection in one of the largest corporate bankruptcies in U.S. history. 1993. In Colombia, Pablo Escobar, one of the world's most notorious drug lords, is shot to death by security forces in Medellin. And 1982. In Salt Lake City, Barney Clark receives a permanent artificial heart in the first operation of its kind. Dr. Robert Jarvik is the inventor of the device implanted into Clark's chest. I don't think I could have expected it to go better. I certainly could have and did have fears that it could have gone much, much worse. Clark lives 112 days with the artificial heart after the operation at the University of Utah Medical Center. Today in history, December 2nd, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.